so thank you very much. Uh, thanks. Uh, welcome all participants again. Uh, and thanks for your event for, for of course, uh, giving us the opportunity to talk a bit um, about EC technology. Um, because of the time, I will try to finish as soon as possible so that we can do the question session afterwards as well. Um, my agenda is like as follows. Um, I first want to discuss uh, quickly with you the EC motor technology, <clears throat> then go into EC technology for AHUs, and in the end, uh, look to the retrofit options we have with EC fans as well. So starting with EC motor technology, uh, we get a lot of times uh, the question, so we need an EC plug fan. Uh, can you please provide us an EC plug fan? And a lot of times uh, we still see some unclarities, uh, unclarities what an EC plug fan is. So I tried to make that clear in this slide. So on the right hand side here, you see the complete uh, EC plug fan and what we uh, basically uh, add or what we use, uh, the, which components we use for uh, building an EC plug fan it is uh, at first the wall plate, which we use for uh, mounting the fan into the application. We use the inlet ring to uh, make sure that we efficiently get the air into the fan. Next to that, we use the impeller and we mount the EC motor uh, on the impeller. Uh, I will dive into the EC motor in next slide. Uh, we add some electronics to make sure that we can uh, uh, let the fan run, of course. And uh, at last, we, we use the support bracket to basically keep everything together so that we can supply uh, one complete uh, uh, fan to our customers. Going a bit more in details uh, on the EC motor technology, I tried to uh, basically take apart the complete EC motor. Um, the biggest advantage of the EC motor is, is that it's compact and that it's brushless. Um, but we start from the left to the right. We see left, we see our terminal box, where of course we get our power supply in. Uh, the terminal box uh, fits into the, the housing, which basically protects our drive electronics. And our drive electronics, of course, make sure that we can operate and that we can control uh, the fan accordingly and together uh, with the state eliminations and windings. And the rotor, basically we have one single uh, motor uh, which uh, we can use for our HU applications. Looking to uh, where EC motors are at the moment, um, I made a comparison between the kilowatts and the motor efficiencies combining the, the IE3, 4 and the EC motors. So what you can see here, the previous IE3 motors, you see the yellow line where we reached a certain efficiency on the two and the four pole. Uh, at this moment, we are using IE4 motors with the two and the four pole, and you see that EC motors in general are quite uh, above the, the green line. Um, so we can say that we are ready for the future in this. Uh, of course, we also know that IE5 is coming, uh, which is not completely fixed yet, but we, we think and we, we already heard and we see that the IE5 line, line will be somewhere between the EC motor line and the IE4 motor line. So basically we are therefore ready for the future and still more efficient than uh, the IE5 motor ratings, as it seems right now. Taking the EC technology into the AHUs, we see uh, several advantages compared with the old fashioned uh, AC uh, belt driven fans. So one of the, of the, of the advantages is, is the plug and play system, where on the left side, you see the AC belt driven fan, where we see that each component is tested and mounted separately. And therefore, we reach a total efficient, static efficiency of 40 until 55%. Uh, the issue with this is that you need to install each component separately, which takes a considerable amount of time and effort. And also, it may happen that once the motor and the impeller are not uh, mounted correctly, that the belt uh, will run off, for example, or, or all other things can happen. Where on the right side, we see that we have the EC fan where the impeller, the motor, and the, the software are tested as a complete system, and the components are also optimized for each other uh, because they're coming from the factory, of course, and therefore we can get static efficiencies up to 70%, uh, and it's more, much more compact and easy to install for our customers. Another advantage uh, of the EC technology uh, would be lower energy consumption and less noise. So in this example, I've taken four fans where 
when we use 100% of the airflow, of course, you also need 100% uh, of the input power. Uh, where with AC fans, if we are re if we are reducing by 50%, we are basically normally shutting down two of the fans. So two fans will run and two fans will sound still. But with AC fans, what we do is we are reducing the speed of all the fans uh, to 50%. So four fans will be reduced in speed to 50%. And therefore, you see that we can gain even up to 80% of the energy savings by using EC technology. Same as with noise, when we are using four fans and we're shutting down two fans, the noise levels will decrease, but not dramatically. So we see that we can reduce the speed, but the, the noise, sorry, by three decibels. But the moment we are reducing the speed again to 50% of all four fans, you can see that we are maximum decreasing the noise level of 15 decibel. And, and that's quite a, a dramatic uh, a noise level change. And last but not least, uh, for uh, EC fans, compared with the AC bell-driven fans, we, we, we see that we have less space uh, requirements. So for example, I've took the, I took the example of 4,000 cubic meters per hour with 450 pascals. You see that we need roughly 800 millimeters for a bell-driven AC fan and motor, and we need 530 in, in the height. Uh, and on the right hand side, we took the same uh, 400 uh, cubic meters per hour and 450 pascal, and we see that we can do it with a 355 size, where we only need 280 and 400. So uh, this might be interesting, of course, for AAU manufacturers, because consultants are basically selling commercial space in buildings, and at the moment we can reduce the, the size of our AHUs, the consultant has more commercial space to, to sell to their clients. So basically, it's, 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 one, it's, it's a benefit for the AHU manufacturers because they don't need that big units, less transport space and less uh, plate work, of course. And also the, the consultant or somebody who wants to rent out the building can sell more commercial area as well. Taking um, the EC technology in the retrofit business, and of course we heard it already uh, multiple times today, uh, we can also use AC fans for EC fans for that, sorry. And I made a quick uh, uh, comparison how it looks like. So on the left-hand side, we see the existing unit where we have the belt-driven fan with the blower. And you see basically that also the, the the power of the the air power will be on the on, on on the red spot so you see that the blower basically fits quite uh, a small part of 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 the filter uh, where we can change it also into a fan grid so where we can use multiple fans and then you see that the air gets more uh, uh, better distributed than uh, the original fan uh, but of course there are also more opportunities for us to take into account so other advantages for AC fans in retrofits is that we can still, uh, for like-for-like like airflow, we are still able to reduce energy, sa energy saving 30 by 40%. But the moment when we are uh, modulating at parse load compared with the fixed uh, speed, what we have at the moment, we see that we can reduce 60 by 70% of the energy savings. So what I always see and what I also tell and distribute to my customers is that it's not only the fan that we need to replace. I, in my opinion, you should also take a, a deep look at the controls and, and, and make sure that you not only do the fan or not only do the controls, but when you combine those two together, you will get even more energy savings uh, so that you can also control your system better. Another advantage for uh, uh, an, EC, an EC retrofit would be that we are increasing the lifespan of the existing AHU. So we don't need to buy a complete new system. We just take out the old fan, replace the new fan. Uh, we will clean the filters and so on and replace the controls, of course. Um, once the EC fans are installed, we have no maintenance cost anymore. Uh, we, don't, we don't use belts. Uh, we don't use pulleys or grease. And we have uh, lubricated bearings. So we don't, there is no uh, maintenance needed. Uh, like I said, we will get lower noise, like the example I just showed in the uh, in the EC fan, where we can reduce up to 14, 15%, 15 decibels. And even uh, with uh, EC uh, retrofit, redundancy is possible. So for example, what we see in hospitals is that at the moment, uh, the existing unit fails, we have no airflow. 
but the moment when we, for example, in hospitals where you want continuous airflow and one of the nine fan fails, uh, we can program our fans like that, that the other eight will basically reach to still reach the, the duty point where the unit is designed for. So even when one fan fails or two fans fails, for example, we, can, we are still able to reach the duty point. So with that, uh, we can ensure that, for example, in hospitals, you will still get fresh air. And when somebody's in surgery, there, there will no be any emergency or whatsoever. Um, going to the summary. So uh, it, from our perspective, uh, we with EC motors are ready for the future. Even when IE5 is coming and introduced, we, uh, are, we still believe that we can get a better efficiency on EC motors than IE5. We see multiple advantages of, of EC plug fans in AHU applications and also in the Middle East. Uh, we see this year uh, uh, a high increase in EC plug fan inquiries than before. So the market here is changing. And with that, uh, we also see retrofit slash upgrade uh, opportunities and advantages uh, in AHUs. Uh, we see that buildings in Dubai are now between 10 to 15 years old, and they're all in the nomination or in the loop for retrofit uh, upgrades. Uh, so there, there are a lot of opportunities there, which we uh, need to make sure that we help our customers at least uh, to provide them with good solutions. And that's it from my side. Thank you, Gwen. Um, yeah, I would say uh, I save you the final question, uh, uh, but want to already start with, uh, with, the, with, the, with the panel discussion. Yeah. Uh, as we, all, all the presentations today, they were less related to COVID-19, but in the end also relevant to this topic. Uh, we as an industry association, we, we push and we, we try to encourage people now to uh, go back and see and, and speed up retrofittings in order to also improve uh, the, uh, the quality of, of the ventilation system, which is of uh, extreme importance at this uh, time. Uh, you have brought the uh, comparison between a belt-driven fan and uh, an EC fan. The official position of Eurovent is we, we want to encourage also the market to phase out uh, belt-driven fans because they do have uh, the known uh, disadvantages of less uh, energy efficiency, the maintenance uh, troubles you have with it, but especially also the uh, uh, con contamination of the, in of the indoor air by the aberrations from the, from the belt. Uh, what is from your perspective uh, if you think about the the current pandemic situation what would be your your approach to it i mean how should people look at their at their ventilation system and, and how should they start to 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 think about retrofits well the thing is uh, what we see happening is that at this moment a lot of customers uh, and a lot of clients of course are now thinking to upgrade or or have a have another look at their uh, system uh, and therefore they are thinking, should I change the fans? Should I change the filters? Should I change the coil? Um, and basically what, what our standpoint is, is at this moment is uh, not only with the energy savings, but also with the maintenance costs. So, so air, air uh, filter, filtration becomes more and more important. So why don't you then also try to maintain that? And for example, when, when, you are when we are changing an AC bell-driven solution with an AC bell-driven solution, nothing will change. Um, the thing is, when you are changing an AC belt-driven solution with eight or nine fans, you can always guarantee that there is airflow, and you can also you can always speed up if needed. You can scroll down if needed, so you can maintain really that airflow and air performance inside your building. And then, of course, also your your energy saving it is another part of that. But I think the first session would really be make sure you always have airflow available in your building. And therefore, you need multiple fans to at least ensure that.